<laughs> I've been staring at those look pads so much. It almost looks photorealistic. It's not until you really go up close that the lines aren't necessarily that clean in some places. You don't see the light in the picture, but you know it's there. It's just such a paragon of spring. Morning, bright light, and then here you've got the dark side. You've got the light side and the dark side, and I just love looking with them together. That color is almost painful to look at. Like, it's just so bright. And this gives me, like, old Paris feel. We've been having these great art exhibits. And this one's been up for over a year now, and so we've gotten a chance to really live with the paintings. This work was here when nobody else was. When I got back uh, in September, it was pretty daunting. And then I saw the paintings and I remember thinking, you know, a bloom of hope, you know, that things are not gonna stay the same. I think anytime you choose plants or you choose flowers as your subject matter, you are choosing to contend with time. You're choosing to contend with decay. You're choosing to contend with youth and age. The tension between the, the thing that remains and the thing that fades, it's something I think about a lot. Um, and the flowers come and they go. It's part of their charm is that they are so intense. There's the meditative quality to them. Uh, you can really just sort of get drawn in. And they seem like part of the branch now. It's when something kind of either just becomes part of the background without you really noticing it, or you know becomes part of the, the vernacular like that and we've got both of that with, with these pieces you know? it was interesting that like these paintings remained somewhat the same um from the beginning of the pandemic to when we came back months later and even now as we're reopening i think we've changed um and the art around us has influenced us as well 